Hey guys, today we will create yeah this mountain bike hand grips. We will get something like that. Pretty cool. And there are also a lot of other different designs. So if you want to see something different, just let me know in the comments. So let's just start. And before we start with our amazing tutorial, I've just launched a brand new plasticity course with four incredible separate products. A sci-fi prop, a super detailed grenade, a complex drone concept and the DJI Mavic Pro 3 camera. The entire course is explained in step-by-step -step details, no fast forwards or silent gaps so everything is structured and edited professionally first link in the description let's dive into our tutorial by creating a new scene and first of all let's go here to the right view and create a circle so press tab and type in like 200 so centimeters but could be also like milli millimeters and also again one more circle and this one is again press tab and 280 right click so yeah now you have also my overlay and now press 3 and let's extrude this face here for 1300 for example so we can delete those here and now we just go here to the top view and we create the line and this will be here like our metal piece so press c to cut this main body and also shift d and let's bring it over here Again, I'm not an engineer and all that stuff, so yeah, I don't do it super precisely. So again, press C and cut that body. So that looks pretty fine. And now select this edge, Shift D. We will need it in a second for loft thing. And also do the same here, Shift D. So we have it separate and now select this and go again to the right view and press S. So if you see it goes a little bit outwards. So let's just drag it a little bit outside. So this is fine. And now let's go here to the front view and um, create a new line with shift A and snap it here and here to those inner cuts that we did. Press Alt 1. So we create this extra point here. And press G, so we drag it up. So yeah, we create a little bit of this ergonomic shape. And yeah, we can mirror it over or do it again. So select that Alt X and press Y. So we mirror it to the other side. And now let's go to the uh, top view and do the same here. But snap it this time here to this outer point. And again, Alt 1. So we have an extra point and G to drag it a little bit outwards. And now we can create, yeah, this cool shape here. So yeah, for that I will shift, uh, use shift F and I want to snap it here to the most outer point, but because we deformed it, we can't do it anymore. Uh, so I don't know, maybe you know how, but what we can do now is just create a new line here and we select this circle here or ellipse, press F and type in cut curve and we will cut this with this line here. So we have two separate lines. So this is fine. So because now we can go to the top again, shift F and now we can snap it here to the beginning. You see, so let's do that. Go to the top view and snap it to this point and yeah, just drag it outwards. And here I want it to go tangent. To this line so go to this outer point here and press shift so you get yeah, those construction helping lines and just snap it to them and then you can snap it here and then it goes here tangent so this is fine and now just press one and now you can adjust the points however you want maybe i want to delete this point so and maybe i want to take this point and just drag it a little bit more inside so yeah, something like that. You can play a little bit around, but I think that's cool. And now, so tap and select all of those bodies and hide them for now, because now we can loft at everything. First of all, we have to join those circles here. So press J and shift select that, press L and with shift click, just select those other lines. So we create, yeah, this form here. So that looks good. 
and I don't need those lines anymore so we can delete them and also don't need this and this and now we can close it so just select the surface and patch holes along yeah so patch holes so we have now a body and now just select this face here so with double click and with shift D we duplicate it because now we will create yeah this outer shape and we will do this whole cutting so we need it so if we hide our solid we have just our sheet so again double click so the face is selected and now we can just extrude it or offset it a little bit so yeah 15 or something so if we bring our solid back you see it looks like that and this is what we need but we have here some error so I will go just to the top view and create a line and I will just make it yeah here straight and press SS to scale it so we go over that edge and press C and just cut that body right click and we can delete this little piece so now it looks everything very fine so I like that and now we can create the shape so here yeah I will recreate exactly this shape here with those cuts here and I think that looks pretty cool but you could do yeah literally every other shape so what I will do is shift F and so I know already how to do that but but yeah if we look here we can start because yeah it's a little bit different because we have this metal piece here outside but just go here to this middle and drag it to the edge so it's tangent and now you can drag it outwards maybe take this point and bring it a little bit up here and something like that press alt z so you see the line so that looks fine and now we can just take this line shift d and bring it here and yeah now create kind of our pattern so something as that create a sh take this line shift d again rotate with rr to bring it in form and in shape so something maybe like that and now let's connect those points here with the tangency so we can't do this unfortunately now or maybe you know how so we can't create a circle here because then it's not tangent as you see here but what we can do is select those two points and just press L and love them and then here the tension just um, yeah, make a little bit of a tension and then you see it's yeah, it's not perfect but for now it's fine so again we can select this line here and shift D and that one we will bring here and we will take this point and this point will go like that somehow so that should be fine so that looks already cool and yeah now we need yeah, like this flow thing so let's again shift f and just yeah create something like that and now again we can adjust it with our points here so i think this is cool and again select those two points press l and we have some little party here so we have to reduce the, te the tension a little bit and then they are a little bit more chill so <laughs> this is good and again let's take this edge here shift d and again take this one and let's give it a little bit of an angle and the same here shift d and also give this a little bit of more of an angle and this one a little bit maybe here so I think this is good and let's give it here a nice connection so select those points press L reduce a little bit the energy and so we have something like that I'm not sure if that's right let's see yeah you can join them but yeah we will in a second join everything so what we will do now is we create those yeah, cuts for the fingers so let's create a kind of a helping line so again shift D and just bring it here a little bit upwards so we know where to stop our endpoint so shift F and again just snap it here to the curve and create a new one go to the curve end and again do something 
like that and adjust it. And again, shift F, create a new one, bring it here again, shift F and just create yeah, some cool, nice shapes. Let's do two more. Might be a little bit confusing with all those lines and points, but yeah, the more you do it, the more you get used to that. And just one more. So again, shift F and just snap it. And again, shift F. And I think that looks pretty cool. So we can delete this line because we just needed it for yeah, support. And now alt click and shift click. Let's select all of those curves uh, because you see it's a little bit weird. So let's bring them all up. Press S and just scale them to zero. So they are on one plane. And now first of all, let's press J because we have too many of them. And you see now we just have half of them because now those are also connected. So let's select them and press B so we can give them a nice little bevel. And cool. So let's again press Alt click. So all are selected. Go to the top view. Press C. Select that uh, surface. Right click. And yeah, so select again all of them. Press Control G. Call that curves and just hide it from the viewport. We don't need them for now. And now and now just select those pieces here and we can basically delete them. So cool. So you see, we are getting somewhere. I like that. And now we just have to thicken this piece. And yeah, so let's select the surface. Go here, thicken the sheet. And if you remember, we offset it before 15. So let's use the same um, value again, but with minus. So you see it's perfectly aligned. And the same for this one, select the surface, thicken the sheet. And this one is again minus 15 and okay. And yeah, that looks really, really good. I like that. And now let's just make everything a little bit smooth. So let's select this edge here and give it a curve or a fillet. Also those one and those one and those one here. So that looks very good. I like that. And cool. We are almost done. So let's select all of those top edges here. Also from those fingers here. And let's give them a nice little fillet. So drag it to the positive value. So we give them a nice fillet, maybe even a little bit more. So it's not sharp. And cool. That looks good. And now we just have some more details here. And also if we bring back all of our pieces here, we can just uh, select this curve, shift D and press C, go to the other side and just select that body here, right click and we can um, delete it. So we have a nice hole. So that looks very fine. And let me see, we don't need this middle piece here anymore. So I don't know, it's uh, yeah where we cut it. So we can just delete it. Perfect. So now let's create those little pieces and then those holes here. And um, maybe you also have a tip for the holes because yeah, you will see it will take a little bit of time, but let's show. So first of all, let's do that. And yeah, I will just do it here on the uh, front. So on the top side. So yeah, because yeah, we can also just mirror that. So what's here, how I can do that is you just create a sphere and yeah, just bring it here to the middle somewhere and you see it's uh, automatically a Boolean, but we don't want it. And you have here bottom right, some operations you can do and we want a new body. So we just press B and now you see everything is fine. Press S. So we make it a little bit longer and now go here to the left view and press RR and just align it a little bit and just bring it yeah, a little bit down here. So this looks fine. So again, shift D and yeah, just align it a little bit and shift D also here. So maybe we can make those one a little bit smaller 
And again, the last one, let's bring that here and again, go to this view, right click and uh, rotate, I mean, and let's make it a little bit smaller and just adjust it a little bit. So this is fine. And now we can select all of those pieces, press Q and Q. So they are connected and that worked fine. And yeah, obviously you can just cut it here because they will be also like from the bottom, I guess. Yes, but that's not important now in this case. So let's select all of those edges and give them a nice little fillet. <laughs> and let's see how that looks. Perfect. Very beautiful. I like that. And before we move to our holes here, which are also very interesting, let's give here a nice little chamfer and also here. So we have like a nice metal thing and also here a nice little chamfer. And here never forget to use ch uh, chamfers and fillets because those are casting nice highlights. So let's check that out with this thing here. You see that just looks you see it catches light, so that's cool. And yeah, so with this thing here, you will see, so if you want to do that, then you have to spend a little bit of time because it would be cool if we could just create, for example, a little tiny cute sphere here. And for example, let's go to the top view and press GG and let's create one of this and SS. We make it a little bit smaller, shift D, and maybe one more. And now it would be cool, like a function to bring them down or align them to the surface. I don't know, maybe we have it. No, I didn't found anything. So what you should or can do is you select them one by one and you see when they start intersecting. So you go just literally one by one and do this kind of stuff. So that looks cool and let's do it for one more. So we just select them all. We go to the top view, press shift D and yeah, we just create it here. Maybe you can create then one here on the top. And now again, you see, because we have a curvature surface here, we have to align that again. So just press G and let's go a little bit down. So this is fine. And once you have everything, so I, I'm not doing that because yeah, it's not so important for me. You can select this body and then just with shift click, you select all of those uh, spheres, press Q. So you get this uh, Boolean and now just select again those um, edges here and give them a nice little fillet. And now you see that looks pretty amazing. And if you are interested in more in-depth courses, I have some here for plasticity and octane and cinema 4D. Um, yeah, a little bit more advanced, also very beginner friendly, three, four and 13 hours. So check them out. First link in the description. Leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos and see you in the next one. Bye.